What's up everyone, it's Tom Dizzo here. Uh, it's been a while and uh, today I just want to make a video on uh, you know, the stocks we've been trading uh, today. I mean, it, it is a really difficult day. Uh, you know, this is time of the day that uh, wipes out, uh, you know, month, like weeks, months, or even year uh, P&L if you don't have discipline. And it is a really tough day, and so that's why I kind of, uh, you know, uh, want to address a few <coughs> things um, that I think could be helpful for you guys. And also for those that haven't experienced uh, this type of event before. So, uh, you know, today is uh, basically the topic is going to be about um, how to kind of trade the black swan event or like black swan stocks. And yeah, what else? DWAC, <laughs> digital, uh, you know, word. <clears throat> uh, I yeah yeah you, uh, probably you guys know the news. Uh, you know, Trump involved in this one, and you know, it's just suddenly <clears throat> went it's like nuts, right? Basically, and <laughs> uh, he made the, the stock great again. Uh, today and it it is really a tough day for a lot of us uh, Alex as well uh, I think a lot of people uh, you know lost uh, you know in the room as well and uh, yeah so mm, I hope you know I just want to kind of do the video today so the idea is fresh so uh, you know I don't forget about it and uh, and I just think that, you know, a lot of lessons uh, can be learned from uh, uh, today's video. So, <coughs> so as uh, this morning, uh, as it, it was in the pre-market, uh, I mean, we saw it tanking, right? I mean, this is like the top is set pretty much. Uh, let me kind of zoom in to this one. Top is set pretty much 20 line, uh, you know. And it just keep going down, down, down further, right? And it was pretty early, so I don't think anyone could be in this type of move. Like, I like I don't think anyone shorted that. Uh, but uh, for me, I shorted some here at uh, you know twelve fifty, twelve thirty seven actually. Uh, Pause in the room, and I got out at twelve, right? It was like for thirty cent and shit dumped uh, another, <laughs> uh, you know, almost like two bucks here uh, from this dollar uh, fifty, and and yeah, uh, as the day goes by, uh, I mean, you know, when you see something like this, of course it, it is a broken stocks, right? I I mean, I I really don't care, uh, like, you know. It's impossible to tell that a stock is going to do this, right? I mean, this is one of those outliers that it happens maybe once in, I don't know, like a year, maybe two years or three years, something like that. <laughs> you know, it's impossible. I mean, it's it's not like, it's like, it's not 100%, right? I mean, uh, anything can happen. That's why in trading, uh, uh, you know, it's like that and... You know, risk management, that, that's everything that you can do. You know, long or short, doesn't matter. If you trade on the fly on this one, you just want to get in and think about it later. <laughs> You're going to, you know, get yourself into really uh, a lot of problems, uh, you know, on this. And after this, you know, people keep blowing up. I think it was here, like margin calls, a lot of people here. Uh, yeah, I mean, but... This is what it is, uh, and like I said, uh, black black swan stocks. You see, it breaks above this. Uh, like, don't touch it if you knew. Okay, if you don't know what to do, just watch and and you know gain the experience, gain the 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 screen time for next time, right? Uh, and once you get better at this, uh, you know, like uh, you can scalp around, you know the the good psychological kind of line, uh, like I said, you know, 50, 100, 150, you know, if it, if it gets extended enough, 
to those lines. I don't want to be shorting into this grinding high and grinding high. I want for the stock to kind of extend enough. And when it gets to 50 back in my mind, okay, it was psychological line. It was, you know, why I didn't short at 30? Why I didn't short at 40? Why I didn't short at 45, right? But I chose the 50 line to get in short. And if it breaks that 50, next one for me would be 100. I don't want to be messing around with 60, 70, 70. 565 something like that uh but that was like you know it's it's not really uh that matter because it was like small size and there's no way that you can size up on something like this okay so if you miss that don't worry about it uh i think the most important thing that you are safe when shit like this happens and that's the most important thing right that's why you are mic uh, we will tell you to protect your account, to be careful, especially if you're new. Uh, just, you know, watch the stocks, how it behaves so that you can understand it for next time when you see this type of stock. Okay, don't worry about making money on those. Worry about that, you know, uh, were you able to to stay safe during this uh, you know, period or like, you know, like doing like today, right? Uh, making zero is still better than, uh, you know, down 500 bucks or like uh, $1,000 on this. And, and yeah, guys, so I hope this is like a good lesson for you guys on, uh, you know, this type of uh, event. I hope, uh, I think, you know, on this one, uh, I would wait until the first red day, of course, right? Uh, let's see uh, if it, you know, runs much higher, but... We all know that is, you know, 10 to 50 guys. Come on. With that much volume, when it turns, it's going to be bloodbath, right? So as a short seller, we wait for the backside and then we attack. Okay. That's the safest way how to do it. Uh, you don't need to anticipate like I do today. Just want to, you know, playing small size, scalping around the, the channel the lines. Uh, I mean, if you're good at it, you know, go ahead. That's fine. As long as you have pretty fine risk, all good to me. What, like I said here, uh, you know, if you knew, ignore it and just wait until it turns, right? That CEI, AMC, GME, pretty much the same thing.